Edward Charles Tallman was trained in the Unitarian teaching tradition. He also worked with Kurt Kofka, the Gestalt psychologist in Germany. He became acquainted with Westernian behavior. Like Western, Tallman rejected introspection. He had no interest in internal experience that were not accessible to objective observation. Intervening variable. Tallman's most useful contribution to psychology is the concept of intervening variable. As a behaviorist, he suggested that the causes of behavior consist of five independent variables. Number one, environmental stimuli. Number two, psychological drive. Number three, heredity. Number four, pre previous training. And number five, age. Behavior is a function of these independent variables. According to Tolman, the intervening variables are the actual determin determinants of behavior. They are the internal process. The intervening variable is what is going on within the organism that brings about a given response to a given stimulus. Because the intervening variable cannot be objectively observed, it is of no use of science unless it can be clearly related to both the experimental independent variable and the behavior dependent variable. Two kinds of intervening variables. Tolman originally proposed two kinds of intervening variable, demand variable and cognitive variable. The demand variable are essentially motive and include sex, hunger, demand for safety in the face of danger. The cognitive are known how variable or ability and include perception of motor skill. In 1951, Tolman revised his intervening variable and established three categories. Number one, need system, psychological deprivation. Number two, brief value motives to represent the intensity of preference or for a certain goal object. Number three, behavior spaces. In the behavior spaces, some object attract and some repeal what can observe and operationally access or the intending cause of behavior. Molar and muscular behavior. The simple reflex are molecular. Result easily controlled or teachable behavior is smaller. Whenever the organism as a whole does something such as an action is gold right action. The soil behavior is proposing. Tolman's main idea is that behavior is not a sequence of cause but a cabin of goal and action, leading towards the goal object. Intervening variable are determinants of behavior. They cannot be directly observed, but they can be inferred from behavior. Motivation. Tolman distinguished between appetites and Aversion, both are the state of agitation. Appetites such as hunger and sex follow a metabolic circle. Aversions such as fear or ministry tend to be endurance or con constant. He presented a list of appetite and aversion. He distinguished six appetites such as food, hunger, sex, hunger, Absorption hunger, specific contact hunger, rest hunger, sensory moral hunger. Each appetite is the state of disequilibrium in the organism. There are two aversions, such as fight and perversity. Fright is avoidance of injury, and propensity is avoidance of interference. This innate Appetite and aversion are the motivator of all behavior. Appetite lead towards physiological coincidence. Aversion lead away from physiological disturbance. The appetite and aversion are called first order drive. They are desired and capable of modification.
Humans are also motivated by second order drives. They include curiosity. They are relatively independent of the first order drive. However, being weaker than the first order drives usually become subordinate to them. Open and respondent behavior. Whenever behavior is correlated to a specific eliciting stimuli, it is respondent behavior. Whenever no such stimuli are present, it is called open behavior. Conditioning. There are two types of conditioning, S-type conditioning that applies to respondent behavior, R-type conditioning that applies to open behavior. In open conditioning, the response comes first and then it is reinforced. In open behavior, behavior occurs without any observable external stimulus. The organism response is spontaneous. It is not related to any known observable stimulus. This is not to say that there is definitely no stimulus eliciting the responses, but rather that no stimulus is detected when the response occurs. Another difference between the Two kinds of response behavior is that operant behavior operates on the organism environment and respondent behavior does not. The dog in Pavlov's laboratory can do nothing but response when the experimenter presents the stimulus. The operant behavior of the rat in the signal box, however, is instrumental in securing the stimulus. When the rat presses the ball, it receives food and it does not get any food until it does press the ball. Law of Accusation From his experiment on red in the signal box, he derived his law of accusation. According to this law, the strength of an operant is increased when that operant is followed by presentation of reinforcing stimulus. Signal law of accusation differ from Thorndike law of effect and holds reinforcement. It did not make any attempt to entrap reinforcement in terms of drive reduction. Signal considered drive as a set of oper operations and influence response behavior in a certain way. It defined drive objectively in terms of number of halves of deprivation. Operant behavior in a human being. The operant behavior for a human subject involves problem solving reinforced by verbal approval or by acknowledged by having given the correct answer. Nature of reinforcement signal offered a detailed and precise description of reinforcement in his experiment with peons. He studied two types of reinforcement, internal and rational reinforcement. Interval reinforcement in experiment related to interval reinforcement. Reinforcement were given at more or less fixed interval a definite number of time per hour. The result of his interval reinforcement were rather stable and constant and highly resistant to extinction. Racial reinforcement in experiment with racial reinforcement, the reinforcement was administrated not at certain time intervals, but after a certain number of responses. The less frequent the reinforcement, the quicker the response. Fixed interval reinforcement. Fixed interval reinforcement could be given once per minute or once for minutes. It does not depend on the animals making a certain number of responses. It depends solely on the passage of fixed interval of time. A job in which a salary is paid once a week or once a month provides the reinforcement on a fixed interval schedule. Workers are paid not for the number of items they produce but for the number of days or weeks that elapse. That the research has shown that shorter the intervals between reinforcement, the more rapidly the animal will respond. At the interval between reinforcement get larger the rate of responding fall of drive. Signal explained that the term drive is simply a convention of way of referring to the effect of deprivation and cetition. To him, deprivation can be measured. Signal does not deal with the drive as a cause of behavior. He preferred to discuss deprivation as cetition of the end to omit the term drive. Emotion. According to Signal, emotions are pre 
dispositions to act in certain way. The angry man shows his anger through striking, insulting, otherwise inflicting injury. The man in love shows his tendency to aid, favor, or be with. Some emotional responses are not conditioned, as already observed by Western, as angry child may strike or bite without previous conditioning. She can avoid it the mentalistic turn players and displayers. He prefer to discuss behavior in turn positive versus negative reinforcement. Positive versus negative reinforcement. The positive reinforcement adds something to the existing situation, food or water. The negative reinforcement removes something from a given situation. Removal of an electric shock or extreme heat. She can suggest that positive reinforcement is a stimulus that strengthens the behavior, while negative reinforcement is a stimulus that weakens the behavior. Punishment. According to Seekner, punishment is the application of a negative stimulus or the withdrawal of a positive one. A served punishment may surprise the behavior, although not permanently in future. Making decision. To him, the decision made by an individual is a function of environmental stimuli, just as any other response is. Behavior is a function of um, environment. For example, a pious man goes to church on Sunday but may become an aggressive on the corpus on Monday. He poses two response systems appropriate to different set of circumstances environments.